artist. And it's easy for us to identify with work on work and making a difference. And then it's what I what I what I'm beginning to do is teasing out what does his purpose mean? You know? So when we think about what's the purpose of a school district, and then in particular, Clint began to talk about it at the last session. What makes purpose so complex? Because sometimes Clint will say, what do we do at Studer Group? Or people will say to us, what do we do? We help make the complex seem sim simple. Or say it in terms that it's, it's not simple to do, but at least we talk in language that makes it simple. So let's just look at this case. We have a goal, student achievement and success. No matter what we do in education, our goal is for students to achieve and to be successful. No matter where we work, whether we're in the operational area or whether we're in uh, schools, whether we're teachers or leaders or principals. But if we had the case where we had one person educating one student for six hours a day, we can visualize that. And then case two is we have multiple persons educating multiple students in multiple buildings. And when I looked at this map, I thought about, gosh, that looks like the hotel we're staying in. <laughs> so if we think about complex, trying to move from one place to another in this hotel, it kind of makes us feel case two a little bit. So let's think about that. You know, what does that feel like? And let's stay with that for a second. What makes case two so complex? More people? In different locations. In different locations? Culture. Different cultures? So many variables to control. So many variables to control? It's a much more complex system with many more inputs and outputs. Right. It's a complex system, different inputs and outputs, variables to control, people coming in with their own idea of what they want from an environment. And so, what we have is what we call a system. And when we talk about a school district or a school system, the one thing that I've learned more than anything, I think in the past four years, is sometimes we forget about the system. And then somebody's like, well, that's heartless because it's really about the people, but the people make up the system. And so what we really are having to do as leaders is to lead and manage those systems. So when somebody says, you know, what is evidence-based leadership all about? And what is the work that we do? What is it all about in partnership with others? And it's about really helping to lead and manage systems in a very complex situation so that we can make sense of it, so that the people that come to work every day are having purpose, they're doing work well work, and they're making it. So some 